Well, I just watched this horrifying show. It was so hard for me to, to continue listening to it. And it's like, this is the kind of thing that I find torturous. That to listen to the show is like nails on a blackboard. I got to run out of the room. I cannot take it. To react without saying something. Ugh, it drives me absolutely crazy and guess what it was an Oprah show <laughs> and an owned network finding Sarah Sarah Ferguson and her self finding self now who are her experts in her first show Dr. Phil the guy that thinks he knows all the answers to solving all problems so it's like Dr. Phil the world's falling apart how is it working for you um, Dr. Phil has solved shit. He's just let you accept everything that's wrong. It's like, why suffer from the problems when you can be the problem? Just ignore that it's bad behavior and do it anyways. If you really understand how that guy works, that's basically what he's doing. And the guy is greedy based. Look at him and look at the wealth that he's got. He, he's he got a massive ego and needs attention. The amount of lack of love in his life is measured by the amount of stuff he needs to bring. The amount of attention this man needs is the amount that he's lacking within himself. And the leadership is is the massive size of his ego. He thinks he's right no matter how wrong he is. And his wealth is, you know, stuff brings you love, you know. So he needs that much stuff because he's lacking that much love. If he loses all of that, where would he be? Would he see his kids successful if they didn't have that level of, of financial success? Well, the population is like living in poverty. What's the cause of poverty? Um, and is he teaching, you know, how everybody doesn't have to live in poverty? No. Why is it the world living, you know, getting worse and worse? The economic system is crashing. You think it's the bankers? <laughs> no, hardly. It's our behaviors. It's following advice from experts on how it works and it's like how is it working for you dr phil and then susie orman this like oh my god this woman is that woman is so friggin lost and loving being lost like she's in la la land she literally says that sarah the your problem is you want to know the answers to everything and you're not going to stop until you find the answers and she says you know what saved me is I don't care I don't want to know the answers to anything I've just accept all of it and and I don't care anymore I don't care what anybody thinks I don't care that's that's how I get in life so so Susie Orman is giving advice based on her perception of I really don't give a shit you know, she doesn't give a shit about her planet. She, you know, the woman is also wealthy by giving lots of bad advice because she doesn't care. She doesn't care about the answers to the economic problems because she is the problem and she doesn't care about it. And here she's giving Sarah Ferguson advice. What? Her advice on, hey, Sarah, stop caring. Don't don't want to do the right thing. You know, be lost in the problem, but just be at one with being lost in the problem and get as greedy and profit as much as possible. Because as soon as you're profiting, then you're going to be accepted by society. That's the way she learned how to live her life and get accepted is by being the wealthy guy. It's like finding Sarah. I think Sarah's going to get a lot more lost following those experts and it's the same with uh, Shania Twain and her you know own network and we're gonna find her can you notice that a lot of these rich people are suffering you know they're really 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 suffering 
and yet they're given the same old psychiatric advice of accept and allow. Okay, life is shit. Just accept it. You're not going to find the answers to anything, so why bother trying? It's like, why? why? What, what is the limited belief? in you? Just because you didn't find the answers to everything doesn't mean everybody else can. I found all of the answers I'm looking for. Every single question I wanted to know, and I wanted to know the meaning of life. I wanted to know exactly why everything's going on the way it's going on. Every single answer that I was looking for, I found. I have no more questions. So there goes that limited belief of you can't find the answers to everything. I did. So if I did, then other people can't find the answers to everything. And, you know, finding the answers to everything is actually in the proof of it. And if I can find the answer that cures physical health problems that are said to be incurable, then I'm kind of believing it. You know, if it kind of answers why I never got a cold for like over, a cold or a flu for like 10 years. You know, if it answers aging, because I didn't really want to age, and I want to know why people age to prevent it. And you can do it without a pill. Um, I wasn't aging, then I started aging, so I can see the difference. I can see where my mind was at when I wasn't aging. I can see where my mind went when I was aging. I now find the science that I, I can reverse it. So now it's just a matter of practice. <laughs> I can have fun with the joy of practicing, knowing the answers of everything. Am I perfect yet? No. <laughs> but I at least know the answers of everything. Of And it's like, do no harm. And it's really, really harmful to criticize other people um, and let them know that my energy is really, really hard to take something like this. I find it torturous probably because I see how many people are actually starving, you know, have no home, like being tortured, literally tortured because wealthy people don't want to know the answers to everything, that they don't care. Um, we can see these you know, financial experts are just doing whatever they want to do. They don't care whether it's right or wrong anymore. They don't care what people think, which means they're not receiving information. So I don't know. I, 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 I just, I can forgive them for they know not what they're doing. They are, they, they are just so sad and, um, don't have that strength with inside them to keep looking for those answers. But it's heroes like Sarah Ferguson. I mean, if Sarah Ferguson has that much passion to find the answers to everything, she'll find it. But you got to see how many souls are manipulating her. And you get uh, experts like that pushing that on her. It's like if I could wish anything, it's like, Let's wish Sarah Ferguson, cheer her on, on that she's going to find the answers to everything. And to hopefully, you know, don't listen to anybody that tells her anything different, that that is her purpose in life. You know, it is follow your passion. What are you passionate about? Knowing the answers to everything, that's an amazing passion to have. Now trust in yourself. What expert's going to say, hey, Sarah, here's your purpose, obviously. I mean... Susie Orman's a genius to be able to diagnose her so clearly that here's a person that wants to know the answers to everything. So even there's something really special in Susie Orman to see that she can at least see people's talents. And there's lots of profit in it. Why not sell her on living her purpose and profit from that? Because if Sarah knew the answers to everything and sold that, I mean, the world would know the answers to everything solving the financial problems but i don't know if susie can quite get that because she's not open to the answers to everything but here's to sarah i hope she has the strength to not listen to the experts um so i am hiring for the design of these websites because there's going to be another school in there on how to build your self-esteem there's going to be a school to overcome every mental illness greed can be it's an addiction so there's a way of solving all addictions so I need to hire somebody that wants to do a lot of websites and you can earn just as much money as I would off it equally owned whatever gets made I need to pump out a lot
So at least these people, when they're searching for themselves, they can go on the internet and find our website. And if it's popular and works for everybody, then it'll be well known. So anyways, I had to vent. I was so pissed off after listening to this show. The only one in the room, YouTube. <laughs> Peace out.